Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm going to tell you a bit about uh, Wikidata. Uh, Wikidata is uh, the more recent project of the Wikimedia Foundation. It all started uh, with uh, Wikipedia. Back in the day, uh, every Wikipedia had an article about a certain topic. And to link them together, you had to make a link on every article that became a mesh like this. So every link you had to update. So if you would translate an article to another language, you have to go to all the other language editions to add links so people can find it. It was a bit inefficient, so Wikidata started putting that in the central point. On Wikidata, there's, uh, for every concept, there, uh, there is an item. And uh, the fir for example, the first item we have, Q1, is the universe. Um, it's, uh, yeah, Q you can guess what Q Q2 is, that's Earth. Um, so every item describes a concept, something that can be really uh, concrete or very, uh, uh, very broad. Uh, and is, uh, the whole site, is, everything is multilingual. As you can see here, uh, this is how I set my interface with multiple languages. You see, uh, uh, we have about 280 languages we support right now. Uh, that was already five years ago when Wikidata started. Uh, uh, the birthday party is uh, next week in, in, in Berlin. Uh, and in the years, uh, a lot of things have changed, but a lot of things have stayed the same. The basic uh, item structure is uh, you uh, have the, the label. The label uh, uh, describes what it is, a uh, description, uh, just a brief one. If you want to read more, you can always go to the Wikipedia article. And also uh, aliases. Uh, for example, this is a painter. Uh, especially if you have, uh, for example, Russian names, you might have like 50 different aliases because you have so many ways to transliterate that. Um, and of course, the links to, uh, to Wikipedia. Uh, that's uh, where you can find mo uh, more information. Uh, b besides uh, uh, the links, you see there's tiny little icons that indicate that our, uh, that's, uh, article is really good, like a, a quality article uh, or a, a good article, something you might want to read. And they're called batches. Um, we have items for concepts, but we can add structured information. That's what Wikidata is about, structured data. So in uh, the previous speaker described how uh, you can go to a whole formal process to uh, achieve a standard. Uh, Wikidata is more like the wiki way, so uh, grassroots. Uh, people can propose properties you can add to things. Uh, and uh, if there's consensus for that property, it gets created. Uh, for example, you can add the, the place of birth, where was someone uh, born. And uh, like that, for example, uh, uh, Johannes Vermeer is born in, uh, in Delft. Uh, this concept is called uh, uh, a claim. Uh, when you add a source to it, uh, we like sources a lot, uh, it's called a statement. Uh, Wikidata has the concept of there's no truth, there's only sources. So uh, everything should be referenced. Uh, so, for example, you see right now this is the inventory number for a painting in the Rijksmuseum, and it also references the Rijksmuseum website and the day uh, I had a look at it. And uh, it's this painting, you might know it. Um, so this way we can, uh, with all these small pieces, we can, uh, we can structure information. And this is the summary of what an item might look like. Um, it also contains the link to the glossary. Uh, 15 minutes is not really enough to explain the whole ontology of Wikidata, so I'll show some examples uh, for GLAMS, uh, how you can use it and how it it's, uh, might be useful uh, to you. Wikidata contains a lot of items. Uh, we ha I just checked, we have about 37 million items. Every item uh, uh, describes some sort of concept. Uh, the most items we have are about people, about three million. Uh, of course, Wikipedia has already had a lot of articles about people, so that's what we started with. And over time, uh, people uh, added more items about uh, people who didn't have a Wikipedia article yet, but were of interest. Um, we had a, have a lot of items about taxonomy. Uh, basically, every uh, flower, bug, fish, you name it, we probably have it. Uh, about two million uh, items and still counting. The people who work on taxonomy are really active. And it's also all structured uh, with uh, 
different ontologies the, they might use. And uh, you know, with uh, with flowers and things, then they might change the taxonomy because you have new research, and uh, they're always updating that. Locations. Uh, we have from uh, the really big cities, this is uh, Hong Kong, uh, about two million locations on Earth uh, to the smallest places. This is um, a ghost town somewhere in, in California. Uh, what's it called again? Bodhi. Uh, if you ever come in California, you should visit it. Uh, and uh, if you look at uh, the, the map of uh, items we have, most location items have coordinates, you do see it's very Western oriented. So Western Europe is what is completely bright. The US, the coasts are completely bright. But if you look at Asia or Africa, there's still huge gaps of places we haven't described yet. So plenty of work to do there. Um, we have a lot of items about uh, historic buildings. Uh, that's, uh, they, those got imported as part of uh, Wikilos monuments. I'm not going to say any more about that because uh, Leila is going to talk about this uh, this afternoon. Uh, but uh, yeah, Wikidata is also in, uh, involved in that part. Uh, and paintings. Uh, one of the projects I'm working on myself is to add uh, lots of lots of paintings to Wikidata. Uh, it serves more as a pilot to see how, uh, if you take a certain topic, uh, in this case, uh, art or paintings, to add them to Wikidata and see if we can describe them and create a, a, an overview of them. We currently have 225,000 paintings. It sounds like a lot, but if you look at all the collections we have, only in Europe, it's, we're ba barely scratching the surface. Um, so we have all these different kind of things, uh, subsets that are uh, that you can see on Wikidata. You, uh, but it's not like you can put everything on it. Uh, and we need to have information about it. And one of the things we use a lot is authority control. Um, you're, all, you're all in libraries or museums, so you know the concept of authority control. We, uh, we, we love it. It, it, was, uh, it. it takes a concept in Wikidata and links it to a concept in external database. Uh, these, for example, are the, the, the four that uh, Getty uh, publishes. It. And uh, we use uh, the... Um, a union list of artist names the most, but for example, AAT for uh, describing uh, concepts is also quite useful. And uh, also FIAF. Uh, there are quite a few people from libraries here, so they probably know FIAF. We link to FIAF a, a lot. We have uh, uh, over one million links to FIAF from Wikidata items. They're mostly about people, but might be locations too. And for example, uh, this library, the GND, we have half a million links to them. And so most of these uh, authority control uh, uh, things like libraries have a specific focus. They focus on people who are in relation to books, or we have uh, a union list of artists that focus on artists. Wikidata is more general. We, we, we're not an ontology of everything, but we have a much broader scope than uh, most people have. And uh, the, one of the main challenges we have is to match concepts. So you have, uh, in one database, you have someone who's called Jan Vermeer. And uh, on Wikidata, he's called Johannes Vermeer. Is that the same person or not? You also have Jan Vermeer van Haarlem, different painter, but uh, li a little bit l uh, later. So we have tools for that, where people get uh, the, the two concepts in different databases, and they can confirm that someone is the same, or some concept is the same or not. And uh, that, uh, that way, slowly, things get more connected. We also do some automated work, like if the person has the same name, same date of birth, and same date of death, we're fairly confident it's the same person. So, and uh, volunteers are working on this uh, all day, and uh, their new databases get uh, added uh, every time. Um, one of the projects I work on myself is uh, the sum of all paintings. Uh, the goal is to uh, get uh, every notable painting on, on Wikidata. Uh, when we started the project, we, all, of course, already had a lot of paintings, like Mona Lisa already had an article uh, in uh, 1907 languages. Uh, but it focuses uh, on all those other paintings. And uh, so, for, for example, this painting, uh, I think it's by uh, Mesdag, uh, didn't have a painting yet. And, uh, 
we, uh, we create them, we link them to co uh, collections, and we try to make a catalog resume of basically every painting, uh, painter that's out there. Um, but how good it is, it all depends on the data you have. Uh, we can't make up paintings, we can't make up when it was created, who painted it, or what kind of medium it is. We, own, we need sources to be able to do that. And uh, it's nice, uh, we, we're growing now, and for example, the Netherlands is getting pretty much complete, so you see the overlap between different collections, uh, about how things moved around, uh, uh, collections got split up. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's, it's getting, uh, getting along. But Wikidata isn't really a, a data dump. You, you can't really put everything on it. Uh, every uh, item needs to be curated. And curation might be taking a tiny bit of time, but it still takes time. And the only thing we're limited uh, by is the number of hours our volunteers are willing to spend on the project. Uh, there's, the, if they don't like it, they start doing something else. Uh, so if uh, uh, we encourage people to add things, but not dump things on it. So uh, if you put data on Wikidata, uh, you m must be willing to invest time in to curate it and to make it part of the, the whole collection. But that's basically what it is, a curated collection, just a, a rather large. Uh, it's uh, on Wikipedia, you also have the, 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 the discussion about relevance. Is someone relevant enough to be in, on, on Wikipedia? Uh, the German Wikipedia has huge discussions about it. The English is even worse. Uh, Wikidata is more, a bit more relaxed about it, but you still have the same discussion. Uh, like, uh, we, uh, someone could start adding everyone in this room to Wikidata. How would it be of use to us? Some of you might be notable. Some of you might have a Wikipedia article. But others, why? You're just attending a conference. Why would that be useful to add? Um, so how can you help uh, Wikidata or all the uh, projects? One is uh, just publish things. Publish your, your data, publish your, uh, your, uh, uh, your scans, uh, uh, put it online. And you might think, oh, we already did it. But I looked at the website here of the local art museum, and you just have collection highlights, not, not a collection online. And uh, you could say you can do a cooperation with Wikimedia or other things, but that doesn't really scale on our side. Just publish your data online, uh, show it to the world, and we're not the only consumers. Uh, you don't have to publish it on your own website. You can also use uh, Europeana or some other platform that might be uh, more interesting for smaller institutions. And um, an open access policy helps a lot too. If uh, you have lots of pretty pictures on your website, but the copyright, copyright status is unclear, we'll probably won't touch it, uh, because we're not sure what's happening, especially in some countries where, uh, like in the US, if you have a two-dimensional work, you can just, and it's old enough, you can just use it. In Europe, it's all a bit more difficult. So having a clear open access policy, how people should work uh, with your content, helps a lot. And um, because Wikipedians like to, and Wikidadians like to work alone. They like to work usually in the night because they have their day job they, they're, or they're a student. And uh, basically the, their main resource is things that they can find online. Sure, there are people who use books, plenty of them, but that's already a very small group. So if your data is not online, we won't find it and it doesn't exist. Um, yeah, and if you do put it online and uh, advertise it so we can find it and uh, we're like, uh, this is uh, St. Jerome in the desert. Sometimes uh, we're like that, like all alone uh, in front of our screen working on a certain topic uh, and going to these kind of conferences. Might, a lot of people might not feel comfortable about that. And, uh, but you can also link to our data. Uh, for example, uh, Vincent van Gogh uh, links to 84 external identifiers, so uh, libraries, uh, uh, lists of artists, art databases, museums, uh, has a Wikipedia article in 183 languages, so German is probably one of them. Uh, we have all his paintings on Wikidata, uh, all sourced and referenced and uh, uh, 
you get a, a full overview. Uh, we, of all those paintings, we have 880 articles about those paintings. That's, of course, some paintings are described in 20 languages and others in, uh, in, in less. And some organizations already link to us, like the Museum of Modern Art in New York. If you go to their website, you'll see that they link to Wikidata uh, for more information, and they automatically include the Wikipedia article about an artist. That's, you don't have to ask us, you can just do that. Uh, and uh, so please reuse our data, because data, uh, if it's just sitting, it's just like your collection, if it's just sitting in a holding and nobody ever has a look at it, it's not very, very useful. It's more useful if people use it and see it and uh, uh, maybe improve it over time. We also have uh, this huge data set, you can also query it, uh, it's called, uh, in a language called Sparkle. Uh, I can spend hours on teaching you that because it's not very easy. But uh, there's, uh, if you know what kind of questions you want to ask, uh, there, uh, you can probably answer them because the data set is getting really large. Like how many people from Frankfurt uh, uh, have been born between 1900 and 1940? That's a query you can answer. Or writers who, uh, who lived here or things like that. And, um, so you can uh, have a look at that and play around with it. Any questions? Any questions? So hello, my name is Adelaide Hefberger from the Brandenburg Center for Media Studies. Thank you very much for your presentation. I'm a huge fan of Wikidata, and I think there's a lot of potential for cultural heritage institutions. Um, there should be a bit more uh, sparkle, uh, hands-on workshops, I think, but I'm sure you're working on that. My question is about DBpedia. Um, I've always wondered how DBpedia and Wikidata are going together. Is this a, a, an alternative uh, route? Is it kind of linked? Uh, what's, the, what's the idea? Thank you. They're, at the moment, basically separate communities. DBpedia was also, uh, always, uh, uh, from my point of view, uh, a lot of universities uh, worked on it because it was a nice way to grab a lot, of, uh, a lot of data from Wikipedia, structure it, and then work with it. And I think it, it, Wiki, Wikidata is just super, uh, superseding it. Although, if you ask DBpedia people, they will probably say that they're still very relevant. But I, I wonder if all the... Uh, the universities stop paying interest to, uh, to uh, if it still survives. I don't know, but it, for uh, I don't do anything with DBpedia right now. <laughs> so we had the initial import of lots of data from Wikipedia to Wikidata, and for a lot of languages, it's, it's not done. But all the good stuff is already on Wikidata. So now we come to the point that we want to automatically source it from external sources, uh, add data from other, uh, other sources. So the whole point of grabbing things from Wikide uh, Wikipedia is getting less and less. It's actually sometimes polluting because someone updated the date of birth and sourced it, and then automatically someone else imports the wrong date of birth again. So. Any question? Any further question? So I have a question. Thank you. How do you encourage people to, to participate on, on Wikidata? You, you told us there are some, some regions over the, over the world, not much data in it from, from this region. Um, Any idea to encourage people to, to work on it? The, um, I, I guess if you uh, have uh, certain topics or uh, certain regions, uh, we don't have a lot of participation. Uh, we have ch uh, chapters per country, those, uh, some of those organized workshops or other things uh, to get people more involved. Um, and uh, Wikidata is uh, uh, some, uh, it's a bit of a steep learning curve sometimes, but on the other hand, we have uh, things like games, really simple games that ask you, is this a man or, or a woman? And those seem to attract new people and uh, seem to be a good way in for p new people to learn how to work with it. So uh, the games are probably the best way to go. Okay, thank you. Thank you again.